Hey guys, it's Stuck Up Thy Y'all. Call me Yaya, or you can call me Yana, whatever. This is my very first YouTube video, so I'm so scared, I'm so nervous, but I'm just coming here to show y'all what y'all always been asking for. Show me a tutorial, show me how to do this, show me how to curl, show me how to install my wig, I need a full tutorial. I can't do it on TikTok, so I decided to, you know, make my um, YouTube page. But I'm gonna show y'all how to do these bomb super cute super voluminous um body y'all i'm gonna show y'all how to do this super cute voluminous body wave curls um i'm gonna show y'all how to install a wig this wig i have used before so i'm not gonna show y'all how to um pluck or bleach any knots or anything like that or do a ball cap method but i'm gonna just show y'all what i do what i use and that's just what I'm gonna do. I got this wig from Jesse's Wigs. Um, this wig actually held up so nice. I curled all of my wigs on like high heat. So I used this wig probably like three. This might be my third or fourth time doing this wig. So um, yeah, and it's still holding up. What well, lace, lace to wear. Anyway, don't play with me. <laughs> but I'm gonna show y'all how to do this and I'm gonna just give y'all all the tea. I'm gonna give y'all everything that I do. I've been waiting long enough. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show y'all what to do. I'm gonna show y'all what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. But all right, anyway, just keep watching and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm just showing y'all my wig and my lace, whatnots, period. Anyway, I go in with my NARS New Caledonia foundation. I put that all over my lace, and then I also go in with some Got To Be Glue spray, and then I blow dry on high heat. This prevents the foundation and the glue from mixing in together and not sticking to my head. Your next step, you want to position your wig wherever you want it to sit. Look at that blend, what lace. Don't play with me. <laughs> Next, we're going to go in with our Fantasia spritz and our hot comb to hot comb the flyaways back so that the hair does not stick to the glue once we apply it. Next, you wanna take your rubbing alcohol. If you're wearing makeup, take off your makeup around the perimeter of your hairline. Um, you also want to use it to clean away dirt, oils, or anything that's going to come in contact with the glue. I use three layers of Boho Active for oily skin. Also, you want to apply this glue and then you want to blow dry on high heat until the glue turns clear and tacky. You do not want the glue to dry just enough for it to turn tacky. Make sure to repeat this step about three times. You can do more times if you want to, but I prefer three.
now I'm gonna bring down my lace you do not want to press your lace down with your fingers you want to use the teeth of your comb this is because you don't want the hair to get stuck to the glue and then it just becomes harder to get the hair off without lifting your lace and just causing a mess so always use the teeth of your comb Next, you want to blow dry on cool or high heat. I use either one. I don't notice a difference. But I also go in with my hot comb because I feel like it just melts it and bonds the lace and the glue all together. It just It's just bomb to me. So do that if you want. You don't have to. When it comes to excess lace, you can just cut it off with a razor or you can use a pair of scissors like I do and you just cut it on off. Be careful, just don't cut yourself. Always take your time. You don't need to rush. Next, you want to go in with your elastic band. You can get this from your local beauty supply store. Or if you purchase my ebook, you already know that the brands send hella elastic bands. So, you know, you can go cop that, that book and make you a couple thousand dollars, you know, $10,000 a month. You know, you don't got to. You stick to your job, do what you do. But I'm just trying to put y'all on. It's only $45. But yeah, we're gonna go in with our hot comb and our chi heat protecting spray. Y'all, I need a new hot comb. My hot comb, you twisting off at the top. Do that ever happen to y'all? <laughs> but anyway, like I said, go in with our chi heat protecting spray, brush our hair out, and we're going to blow dry on high heat. I like to get my hair as bone straight as possible with my blow dryer, but we're doing body wave curls, so it really doesn't matter. want to use a dab of bio silk a little bit goes a long way it'll make the curls big and bouncy ET for home life marsh Next, we're gonna go in with my Sebastian Shaper Plus Spray. We're gonna put that all over our elastic band and blow dry it on high heat. I just feel like this gives a better melt with the lace.
don't play with me. If you make fun of me for using the iron, your wig look like a helmet. Also, please don't come in my comments talking about my makeup don't match. Right now, my neck and my skin is very, very dry. And it's kind of dark because it's dry. So, I don't want to hear, oh, your makeup not match. Oh, da, 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 Look, my skin is extra, extra dry. Please stay in the comments for your mama. If y'all want a flat install, you have to part your hair in small sections it and hot comb it you can go in with the flat iron or the iron if you want to that's totally up to you Next, we're gonna start on our baby hairs. Typically, I like to carve out my baby hairs in a C motion or a curved motion. Then we wanna cut the baby hairs. This is a tip, the longer you cut them, the better because you will still have more control over how short you want them. If you cut them too short, you don't have that control and then your baby hairs can look really small. I don't know if that's what y'all go for, but I like big baby hairs. I like it. I think it's really cute. And you want to take your Baby Bliss flat iron and curl the top one upward and curl the sideburn downward. Next, we're going to go on with our mousse. I don't remember the name of this mousse off the top of my head, but I like to use it because it's not as watery as other products that I've used. So go in and use the end of your edge brush and you want to act like you're drawing C's with your baby hairs. You're going to hold the baby hairs with one hand and brush or comb with the other hand. Then you're going to go in with your blow dryer on high heat and it's going to dry it in like two seconds. I'm a perfectionist so you're gonna see me trying to do the same thing over and over again but layers are my favorite parts I feel like a bust down middle part is cool but when it comes to a side part body wave curls no competition I love a side part with some curls get into it y'all anyway we're gonna get into these layers Normally, I like to use a pair of scissors when I cut my layers. I like it better than a razor, but if you're a beginner, please use a razor. 
When you go to your local beauty supply store, you can find a double-sided razor. I feel that these razors are beginners friendly. For my curls, I'm using my T3 curling iron and this is a tip. When you're curling your hair, you see that piece that's hanging off as you're curling. Always make sure that piece is to the front, closest to your face and not going to the back. I feel like the curls come out much, much better when that piece is to the front. I do not know how to explain it, but any other time when a piece is in the back, my curls fall in the opposite direction and they just don't come out the way I want them to. So always make sure that piece is in the front. Also another key for curls is to hold the curl and do not let it drop after it come off the iron. You wanna pin it with some duck clips. You can get them from your local beauty supply store as well. And you just wanna let the curls cool off before you let them down. I like to wait a good maybe 20-30 minutes, maybe an hour, but the longer the better. Look at my man back there trying to hide. All up in my video, ruining in my video. <laughs>
Marsh. Once all of your curls are secured and pinned, you want to go in with your Sebastian Shaper Plus Spray. This gives it a nice hold, but it doesn't make the hair crunchy or hard. You also want to go in with your pink shimmer or glosser, whatever that is, and your Bio Silk, just so it can give the hair some shine. I also go in my part with my NARS concealer I forget what color it is but I go with the concealer that I use for under my eyebrows so it's lighter than um, my regular concealer once you let those juicy curls down just just look at them curls gorgeous y'all gonna fall in love with it like I said layers are imperative for juicy bomb curls once all of your curls are down you want to take a wide tooth comb and comb your curls away from your face also I did use a box dye I do not remember the brand but I did use jet black to get this color I love jet black it's just superior Next, I'm just teasing the hair, playing with the hair, combing through it. If you have nice layers, your curls will not budge if you comb through it a million times. They may loosen up a little bit, but they're still just going to hold up, right? I was thinking about doing a deep side part with the bang in my face, but I did not layer my hair for that. So we're just gonna do a regular side part. I wish I woulda rubbed my lips together <laughs> so my lip gloss could blend. But anyway, yes, get into it. This is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you learned a lot from my video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want more content from me. Also, this hair is from Jessie's Wigs, and I will put the link in the description. Thank you guys for all of your support, and I hope to make more videos for you. Bye! Also, if you're interested in making at least $10,000 a month within six months, head on over to StuckUpStatus.com and purchase my new influencer beginners friendly ebook that will teach you how to stay consistent, gain followers, and make money in your free time. 
Use the promo code YouTube to earn 20% off your entire purchase.